0.1007 candy store and target areas. That's how we're going to call these signals. Uh, it's a new way of taking, uh, of looking where the market is going to go. And plus in my uh, last video, uh, scalping uh, signals that work for me 100%. I was talking about uh, these bars where they are away from the midline and uh, one can expect uh, for a pullback. In this video, we got even sweeter uh, signals with uh, nice target areas. Before we continue, let's just, uh, by law, we are required to uh, read this dis disclosure disclaimer. Be careful out there, it's, trading is not for everybody. Trade only with the money you can be without. Past performance doesn't guarantee future same performance. So it could be either way, be very careful. Also, I'm not here financial advisor. Anything I say, it's only my opinion. This is not for education. I'm not an educational institution. This is just for fun, for game, for me. How are you gonna take it? That's up to you. All right, please uh, stop and uh, or pause the video and read so we can go on. All right, that you're finished with that now. Let's go to signals. The Quan 007 candy store signals and target areas. All right, just started from started from here. We were talking uh, in, a, uh, in my like I said previous video scalp uh, signals that uh, work for me 100%. We we're talking about these bars where they're far away from the middle line. They're by, by themselves in this case green. If one likes to uh, short, pick a few ticks. You know, scalp. Those are great, uh, great areas. But you got to be very careful and know what you're doing. All right, in this case, there was one right here. The target was here, never reached, and there is a, there's a pullback. Also, this bar did push a little bit, this blue line. As you can see, a little bit here. We never reached that target, so perfect areas for a nice pullback. All right, once we start from here, there, there was a first target, this area that was reached. This bar created new target area. This bar pushed a little bit higher, created new target area. Price never reached this one until here. Reached that target and a little bit higher, which this bar created new area target area which was reached all right this bar created new target area which was reached down here this bar also was by itself never reached the target area but far from the uh, middle line there was that pullback all right market stayed strong went up reached the first target area this bar pushed a little bit higher this bar pushed a little bit higher, and that was new target area, which I like to go a couple of three ticks under, just in case. Especially if I'm holding, say, from here, I just wanna bring in that profit and then look for a new entry point. All right, we had another bar area that was, that pushed that this line up, but was far away from uh, this middle line. That's expecting those to pull pull back. So buyers that push the line up or in reverse down, but are by itself far away from the midline, expect some pullback. All right, market stay strong. They reached this. That was a target from here to here. That was a target. They reached, went on. This bar pushed even higher for target. That target was reached, made even new target. All right, when the, this blue line 
goes above the yellow one. That means watch out. They don't like to be above or below. It happens sometimes when the trend is strong. They'll come out both lines, but expect very soon some uh, reaction and market is going to reverse. So we'll see that in this video. In this case, market reversed over here. So if it wanted to come down, this would be target. If it doesn't reach, that's another signal that's going long. All right, but we are here under hold. We don't want to go long yet. Uh, let's see what market did. All right, never reach down this area, start the green bars. And we know this is the target area, which reached a little bit further, made new target. All right, this bar pushed a little bit even higher, but this bar never, never reached it. This bar even made it even higher. It was pretty close, made it even higher, but never reached up there. Plus we were pretty close to the yellow area and market just went down. There was a first target price, I mean target area, which was reached plus the bar pushed even further. So somewhere to here. This bar reached that target area, pushed even further. All right, we don't have any that are by itself far away from the middle line they're pushing as you can see there is a price is even under we have one line under the yellow and price pushed everything there was a target area here which reached that pushed even further made new target area all right second line crossed under the yellow band so we could expect over here some reaction like i said this band doesn't like to be above or below for long there's a nice pullback and then uh, if you want to watch different way also or if i would watch different way i want to see this area and make sure it is this target area going to be reached is it going to be pushed down all right let's see what market did reached push down a little bit but then start bouncing which i would expect because just because of here both lines are out and uh, you can see this line upper line start coming in and uh, i would expect totally everything to return and start go higher that's what it likes to do in this case went above whole tma and uh, there was a target area that was reached plus made new target area which was reached plus made new target area which was reached plus ma made new target area that was never reached it was in couple of ticks that's why i like to always come two three four ticks down and then uh just to get say if i'm somewhere from here and i'm in there and if uh, even in the reach i'll just pull out if uh, this uh, bar closes short of here plus look at what happened the line is above the yellow band that's a great area for pullback again this was target price was reached bars made new target price which was reached new target price which was reached all right this bar wasn't that far from the rate but there was a still uh still pullback this one never even pushed down, so we don't want to even buy over here for some counter trend scalp. We want to see these bars to push blue and be by itself from uh, from the middle line. All right, so just like this one here, just like this one here, this one pushed also, and this one pushed the blue line. All right, not not this one. This one is pretty close. Though it was pushing very close, this was a close. This one's even in the half and half. So that was first one. That was second one. This was great area plus the box. This uh, this is still under yellow. So there's so much information with this. 
uh, two indicators. This is a uh, yellow lines are pullback zone and uh, white line it's also pullback zone but two different indicators this is WMA this is hold and this is uh, blue lines are and this gray and uh, red and green are uh, price action channel all right so every time the bars push that they make a new target was reached over here was by itself pull back expect so if one doesn't like to get those counter trends or just uh, scalping maybe shorting over here the stop if one using stop if I would use stops it would be a couple of ticks above this line all right for for you know so there's a price reach this target zone this bar even pulled new target zone um, made to new target zone pull back and start coming up there was a target zone up here was reached all right so but then the bars made new target zones never reached went under whole tma and look at they reached this target made new targets and started reaching all of them and pushing back here is again the line is under expect some pullback look at these bars let's compare this one this one is close to the blue but it's far away but look at this one it's far away from a uh, red but it's far from blue so there would be nice counter trend over here which uh, didn't happen right away there was only a few ticks uh, bounce back and then this bar hit that yellow but then eventually they just pull back never reach this area so that would be just like a little warning don't uh, don't go long yet uh, but these two bars would be just perfect perfect uh, place to buy they may top criteria there's a buy there's a buy not on this one it's touching uh, it's very close to blue but these two for long all right the target will be there but uh, once this one did this one should be out price eventually hit this target this bar has created new target which was hit all right the bars got above hold that's a strong signal this target got hit made new one which never hit, got hit over there the bottom one got hit which was coinciding with whole TMA there was big support and see what market is doing we know where the target price is right here and they're doing this one pushed it's it's a nice distance from uh, middle line there's that uh, bounce down the one could pull, uh, pick up few uh, ticks but uh, or just wait for some you know bounce down here and look for some good area to go along with the target to this uh, blue bar the blue line we got a new green they reached the target and made a new target also look at how the price is making every time it goes up makes new boxes higher and high you know from here look at higher 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 this one got a little bit lower but higher overall they're just higher higher and higher okay so once they start making higher that means price is going up here you don't you couldn't count on down because we are about hold and hold is big time support okay so we are far away from here there's that pullback say we bought over here if i would buy here my target is couple of three ticks under this blue line which was reached this buyer even pushed higher made new target zone which was reached okay 
there is that again bar is above uh, the line blue line is above yellow one we could expect uh, pullback there is a reason why I like to go a couple of three ticks under this blue line uh, just because price didn't reach exactly it was like a tick or two under but menu and look at there was a pullback plus the line went about yellow there's that pullback reaching the bar line bouncing so there was a first target which was reached second target which was reached and then bars made new target which was wasn't reached for a while price pulled down turn around and this would be first target which was reached they made new one reached they made new target which was reached I pr price turn around and reach this target turn around reach this target made new one never around reach this target and so on okay let's uh, the price start uh, coming down there's the, again line is under pullback line is again under pullback we got above hold also whole channel got above hold that's a strong signal you can see here reach target reach target reach target reach target reach target reach target and so on so let's take a look on this again there is a very strong trend pushing the bar above but there's a pullback and uh, there is again above there's a pullback doesn't mean that it's gonna go all the way down it can still continue but likes to bring both uh, bands in there is a under look at that pullback all right there is a almost there so market was just going up and down in this area and we see lower box lower box now let's take a look over here that this bar far away but I wouldn't take it because we have a green we have a red green red wouldn't do any for uh, to pick a few ticks I could do on this one there's a few ticks here and here and there was a nice pullback uh, to the middle line all right price reach the target push the target all the way down this one never reached went above hold and uh, so on so let's find the areas here's again under pullback let's see if we can find areas there is again pullback All right, here's a pretty strong trend. So look at the moment in this bar. Pushed the line up. The bar one came out of the whole channel. And look at that pullback. Did again, there was a pullback. Look at what line is doing. They brought again, both lines out, there's a pullback. And they brought down uh they brought with price brought down the channel into uh blue channel into between these yellow ones there's a try again and even higher higher uh, high but the price pulled down look at here perfect example and uh this bar is still uh, even this bar brought under both uh, channels and there's a pullback all right and then we went above hold went above there's a pullback a little pullback and then we go on so it's a very simple very sweet uh, areas look for those areas we know our targets from now on exactly targets where they go we know where to uh, short and uh, do some scalps only if these bars get by themselves 
uh, far away from uh, middle line but and pushing this upper or bottom line so there's none of them here okay let's see over here these are all would not do over here anything until this one it's far away but we are out but let me here is a nice example far away it's a red one couldn't even close that much down expecting some pullback at least to the middle all right there's uh there's another one it pushed the blue line down also it's far away couldn't close down there's a pullback this one was a little bit close this one close but let's see over here there's a green one hitting halt it's far away from here and there's a nice pullback this red one was a little bit too close would not do anything here however this one just a second or two before close would do some risk and uh, go and buy you know every trade is risky so got to be careful there but uh even if it went against me there was a you know still a good buy over here because markets were up over here but even if that as you can see me in uh, uh youtube live room i don't <clears throat> i go and i average my trades i look for a good areas average trades and come out with a uh, positive outcome all right there was none here there's one here short it worked out none here okay there's none here all right this wasn't good it was by itself but never pushed this one but this one was was good look at the, how it closed it plus it pushed this line all right that's what we're looking for like i said if you see these this is just downtrend they're touching both both lines that's a downtrend uh, but expect pullback let's go over here can we find those uh, again uh, that are by themselves here's one pushed the blue line down by itself far away from here nice copy okay there is nothing here not good signal the flat the line over here never push this one up here's a good one push the line up by itself far away from middle one there's a bounce to the middle line nothing here this one was flat so this wasn't a good candidate all right everything i say in this videos or in the youtube uh, live room is just my opinion please you get your opinion and uh, be careful out there here's a buyer far away from the middle line never push this one though it was a good place but you never know so i wouldn't uh, be buying here i would like to see this this bar pushing this line but it's a good case when they cannot push that line down expect some uh, pullback all right here's a good case that uh, meets criteria push this line was far away there's a nice pullback here's another one push this line there's a pullback and you can see what i said earlier this one did never pushed it so not a good criteria here's another one pushing the line there's a bounce all right and so on so now we know where the uh our targets are 
So I will buy here. I know my target is over here. I like to go a couple of three ticks. It's right there. And uh, as long as they're reaching uh, their targets up or down, that way we're going, uh, the markets are going, plus we're looking to be above whole TMA. We like to be above middle, middle line. Uh, have even this signal as green, red, green, and continue. Uh, as I said, targets we know, we know where to short. Uh, if the f bars are far away from uh, middle line, uh, we can expect to want a pullback. All right, so that will be it for here is uh, this bar never push the line. You see how it's straight, not good candidate. This one never pushed down. This one ended up being green, but pushed, pushed down before and then turn around and end up being green. That's not a good candidate. This is not good candidate. Never push the line. All right, so please practice with this. And uh, share this video. Like. Or uh, make some comments. I'm going to call this the Quant 007 candy store signals and target areas. All right, so that would be, uh, as you can see here, it's just a nice big, uh, nice trend, but hugging the line. We went over this already. That was good. Uh, that was good candidate. So this one was. Too close. Okay, so uh, not many areas, but when they when they come, they just come with good. This was a little bit close, not such a great candidate. All right, this bar was great candidate. And nice, nice move. Uh, here's a great candidate down and here's a great candidate. So please take some time, sit down, get indicators, practice, but it's a such, such a great and easy way. Well, easy, that depends on uh, one's, one's uh, experience and knowledge, but uh, don't have many indicators here not to look much at, this is two minute chart. Uh, enough time to, uh, for me to make a decision, know where my targets are, you know, like here reached, reached. This never reached until here we got reached. You know, so we know where the targets are reached. We know this one is target reached. We know here's a target reached. We know here's a target reached. We know here's a target reached. Here's a target reached and so on. So please, uh, well, this is a little bit longer video, but uh, just wanted to make sure that I'm understood and take a look at these great uh, signals and target zones. Uh, and have fun. All right, this is this has been uh, the the one zero zero seven candy store signals and target zones. Appreciate for watching this. Have fun. Talk to you in another video.